here at the Things for Another World booth. Uh, we're here with the creators of The Flash, uh, Francis Manipal and Brian Buccolato. Uh, how are you enjoying the convention so far? It's Buccolato. I'll correct it right away. Buccellato. Thank you. Party. It's okay. It's okay. People do it all the time. <laughs> uh, I, I think it's been great. I mean, it's almost over. I'm tired. Uh, it's been overwhelmingly busy, so that's good. Mm -hmm. Way to go, Emerald City. Well, we've been loving The Flash. Uh, what do you think the major difference is, if any, between the new 52 Flash and, and what you're doing before? Well, I think, you know, after Flashpoint, we were able to move the story forward and move him emotionally forward. Mm -hmm. I think the thing that, that me and Jeff were, were working on before was here was a, a, a man who's super fast, but yet he's trapped in the past. Mm -hmm. So after the events of Flashpoint, we were able to move forward and have him be a character that's filled with hope again, you know, a book that's more positive and, and it has a very lighter vibe and at the same time it, it just really allows us to explore new stories about a man who has now been able to overcome that emotional aspect of it. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. uh, what's it like for you two to be co-writing? Um, it's, it's fun. I mean, we, uh, we're, we've been friends for many years, so uh, it's, uh, yeah. it's pretty seamless, actually. I mean, I've had co-writers before, and, and they can be difficult, they can be easy. And in our case, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty easy. We, we don't disagree that much. There's no arm wrestling? No, I did arm wrestle somebody uh, so they'd buy my book uh, earlier, <laughs> but uh, he and I have never done that. Yeah. That's great. Well, one interesting wrinkle now is that if a flash goes too fast, he's creating wormholes. Uh, can you talk a little bit like why that wrinkle was added? We'll be addressing that actually in issue eight. Yeah. Now, issue eight, I will say right now, issue eight is a game changer. Big game changer for the okay. Flash universe. You know, okay. we're gonna find out exactly what's causing those wormholes, mm -hmm. and we're gonna find out exactly why it's happening. And, and we're gonna find out exactly what the Speed Force is definitively. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. So, of course, he's kind of in a love triangle. It's not exactly at the boiling point yet, but Barry is dating a woman, Patty, who hates the Flash. And right now, he, she thinks that, that Barry is, has disappeared into the wormhole with a bunch of people. What happens when they come back and they're like, Barry who? Yeah, exactly. that's... Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's sort of the point, right? Yeah. yeah it's exactly. going to be... I mean, we can't really give away what's going to happen, but uh, it, it's going to be a tough little road for Patty uh, because, let's face it, she's got some issues with Flash. Yeah. Well, and anybody who's a fan expects him to end up with Iris West. Is that kind of inevitable? No, not at all. No. Yeah. Oh, well, the thing is, is that we've said to ourselves that we're going to let Barry develop as a character and whoever is the right one for him that's how it will be. We, like, we never made a decision on who it was going to be. We're kind of just letting the relationships and the story grow in an organic way. Mm -hmm. So that way when it does happen, it doesn't feel forced. And, and we don't even have an answer yet. Yeah. So we so have not decided. Know. We don't know. We don't know. Don't exactly. know. We don't know. Right. All right. Well, you've already kind of given some interesting wrinkles to a, another villain of his, like Captain Cold. Mm -hmm. Do you have any plans of revitalizing any more? New, yes. new, yep. A wish list, perhaps? Well, we have a laundry list. We don't have absolutely. a wish list. We're doing it. <laughs> absolutely. Captain Cold and the rest of the rogues, mm -hmm. um, the way we were portraying them is that the past, some, certain parts of the past had happened. They, they, he had a cold gun. Mm -hmm. They all were, had weapon base. But something happened along the way that gave him powers. And it's actually that very reason that they broke up. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be telling that story in the annual. Mm -hmm. So look out for that. And Gorilla Grodd, I cannot say this enough, is going to be a really, really really extremely important um, villain in terms of the Flash, Flash mythology. universe. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Like, we're talking his involvement with the Speed Force is going to go even further back than Barry Allen. Oh, wow. So. Yes. Okay. So stay tuned. Oh, man, that's kind of a spoiler. Uh -oh. <laughs> well, do you have any other hints about uh, issue eight, or have you reached your limit? I think that's probably all we should say. I mean, again, you know, we're going to be defining what the Speed Force is in, in a simpler way. I mean, as, as a longtime Flash fan, I kind of took what was been, has been said before, what, what Jeff had established, and, and what was established in Flash, and we kind of combined it all together. And what was kind of weird was that even though at first parts of it didn't make sense individually, but when you put them together, it was almost like an algebra uh, equation that we were trying to solve and figure out. And once we figured it out, we're like... That's great. It's simple. We could say it in one line. That's the thing. It, it's, it's simplified. So it's yeah. not going to take us, you know, 50 words. It's like yeah. one sentence, and, and you'll know what the speed force is and why it is. Exactly. So. 
Well, thank you so much for uh, spending some time with us here at the booth, and uh, we appreciate it. And, of course, you can find all the Flash issues on sale at TFAW.com.